Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Prism Knight deck from Elephant Playing Cards and ElephantPlayingCards.com. What is the Prism Knight deck? It was a Kickstarter release. Uh, it was successfully funded, and this is the deck right here in my hands. This is Prism Night, okay, as opposed to Prism Day. <laughs> Prism Night is the inky blackness of night cut through by these beautiful, radial, very colorful beams of light which highlight uh, the color that's underneath them. The design features of this tuck case and the cards are all featuring a very special glass ink that's shiny, raised, and it's smooth. And it highlights the light beams that you see on every card. The symbols and corner indices and numbers, uh, they kind of give off a kind of, uh, it's kind of like a color texture that you can almost feel. In fact, when you move the cards back and forth in the light, uh, you can literally see those colors sparkle off of the light beams. It's a really cool effect. The tuck case just says prism across the top, uh, and it does uh, say night if you tip it. You see that? You see those radial beams of black on black, uh, matte on gloss, right there. And then you have the Ace of Spades uh, pip right there in the center with like this exploding rainbow of colors. And so all throughout this Prism Knight tuck case is uh, predominantly a black tuck box with these intricate textures, high gloss regions, and it's all accentuating the radial light. This is the same shiny smooth gloss ink as the card faces. So uh, you definitely see this mirrored both in tuck case and cards. It's an awesome way of kind of locking those two things together. The sides are simple, just these radial light beams. The bottom has some ad copy about elephant playing cards. The top, again, uh, has just simply the suits. You have an original tuck seal there that says EPC. And then the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. You will also notice that it is a numbered out of a series right there on the tuck flap. And if you pop the tuck flap out, uh, the inside has these white and black um, light beams that shoot out. If I pulled the cards out, you'd see that going all the way down uh, the tuck case. So that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Legends Playing Card Company, and they do have a really snappy feel to them. However, they are on the thinner edge of a deck of playing cards. You know, when I measure them with the caliper, they come in right around 2.95, which makes them really similar to, you know, even a standard deck of Rider backs, or maybe the Green Gator backs, the MailChimp deck, or the Royal Pulp deck. Uh, you can see it is black border, black edged all the way to the edge. And of course the faces are too, so uh, hidden cards are no problem. The card back is a true two-way image that combines both radial lines and the beauty of light reflecting through this prism. The backs are printed without the special gloss layer to maximize ease of shuffling, dealing, and cardistry. That hypnotic pattern looks great in fans and flourishes though. With this deck, you'll get two jokers, uh, and it does have those same kind of light beams. At first, it looks like it's a beam of light that's bent, but then if you stick them together, it almost looks like it could be a diptych. So in this deck, the jokers were uniquely designed to be the ultimate expression of prismatic reflective light. You got four rays of light shining from a singularity and reflecting off one edge, revealing the color below, and it gives the perfect finale to this theme and this deck. Because of all the blacks that are used in this deck, of course you can't go with standard colorings for the suits. So the black suits are this kind of light sky blue, and the reds are more of this um, like Halloween orange. All of your aces have the same exact features, so the ace of spades isn't different. The aces have all retained their traditional forms, but each one has a different radial focal point, which highlights their form. The court cards are all incredibly stunning. The court cards in this deck have been designed to be reminiscent of traditional courts, but obviously extremely unique. The warm light is radiating out of the objects that they hold, and then it illuminates every single detail of their faces and shapes. Your pips and indice cards all have completely been redesigned and redrawn, so that includes the layout. And so uh, those of you who are more familiar with the standard layout, you'll have to play around a little bit, but you know, you don't count pips, you just look in the corner. Well, that is it for this review of the Prism Knight deck from Elephant Playing Cards. If you want to learn more about them or their products, you can visit them at elephantplayingcards.com. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.